the generation of spiritual distress. At the same time, we are also aware of the systematic manner in which the authoritarian intolerance of the dualistic perspective underlying the currently dominant developmental paradigm seeks to violently hinder, suppress in every possible manner and destroy those who access this emergent vision of the world. It defines their goals as illegitimate. It subjects these visionaries to cruel processes of discrimination, marginalization, torture and murder and it causes them great suffering and spiritual distress. Very often it categorizes the somatic manifestations of this suffering as mental illness and subjects its victims to coercive chemical, electrical and mechanical modifications. We understand that this persecution is caused by an inability or refusal to perceive the world as an ongoing and endless process and the consequent refusal to recognize change as being the very essence of life. This refusal to recognize change as being the very essence of life and the consequent failure or refusal to facilitate change has widely been known and described as sin. This sinful refusal to perceive life as an ongoing process is the outcome of the nature, form and content of primary formative processes that are widely deployed within human being and into which all of us are born, so that all of us are in effect born in sin.